The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this 18th of September. Gosh, September just flew along. Uh, we're looking at the Dow down 54, 34,563. So this is really important. This is a pattern that I talk about, the lowercase h that goes to lowercase m. Look, here's your h pattern right there. And then you make a lowercase m. And what happens if it takes out this left side low right here? This is on the fifth of is that the sixth? Yeah, the sixth of September at thirty-four thousand two ninety-one. There's a chance you can go down to this low of thirty-four thousand twenty uh, twenty-three. It's a little difficult to see twenty-nine, uh, right there, and that's the low of twenty-fifth of August. So in this context, what we're looking at is stalling pattern in the uh, up move of the Dow because it's still in a sell mode. The weekly chart hasn't yet gone to a sell signal. It will go to that if it closes below 33,850 this week or at least goes under. It doesn't have to close under it. Uh, I'll probably go to a sell signal. And the weekly chart, nothing to say, it's still doing pretty well. SMB, we're going to do this today because it's the beginning of the week. It's the second part of the month. Look at the uh, S&P. S&P goes to 4444, down five and a half. We're looking at this H pattern. So you've got one large H. This is a second potential. Now, I'll just say potential. We don't know. You can only uh, do your homework and say this is the pattern that I'm anticipating because of such and such and such and such. Well, the such and such is right here. But that green nine period moving average, we'll see today. But so far, it hasn't turned pink. Uh, it looks like it could, but it hasn't yet. Let me just check this for a moment here. Just want to see. Yeah, there it is. So the one minute just turned pink. And I've got this left side, right side price time match. I didn't want to extend to the right. Have I got to? Yes, I've got to the exact level. So now I can say by 10.29 this morning, there's a chance that we're going to hit the 44.88 level. Here we are at 44.92, but I also need to draw in the target support line, Chapman Wave target support line. So every time it hits it, it might take a little bit of a bounce. And I'll put an X. It doesn't have to do it, but this is the homework that I like to do to say, hey, I've done my work. Uh, if the selling continues, this is the way it's going to be. But if it's not, then there's 200 period moving average right here at 44.95. Uh, That's going to be a magnet, and it could stay there quite a while. So two patterns are fighting for prominence right here. Looking at the 10-minute chart, sideways action. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Between... <clears throat> between... I'll go to this bar. At one at one twenty on the fifteenth, that's one twenty in the afternoon. The high was forty five oh nine point fifty. Look at this, all the way through between that low and this this that high and this low of forty four ninety five, the E mini stayed in this level all the way through until we were, I was watching it this morning as it took it out at seven forty. Boop, it just went underneath it at 44.92. Uh, 44. Now it's back in this range. It's making a new range, a rectangle formation. Ah, I love the way these things work. It's just, how does the price know to do that? Anyway, it's doing that. Now let's do something else. We want to look at the uh, arch formation. Now if you look at the weekly chart, I like to do this just to show you that there's a way of measuring strength. Look, at this particular point, and what date was that? That was July, the week of, yeah, July the 28th. The high was 4607.07 in the S&P. When it made a high three weeks ago, the first of the week of the 1st of September at 4541, a lower high, 
The nine period moving average was still excellent. The MACD had turned down. The stochastic was already turning down. So I'll just do this here to show you how I like to do measured moves. Measured moves in terms of strength. That is a vertical assessment. And what we're looking at is the on-balance volume was much lower. And yet the price is held very steady. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed when what should be a sharp down move instead holds very steady because there's one in this particular my indicator of last resort, the 914, <clears throat> has held the price up. Look at the weekly chart. Really good. This is a peak C with very modest lower highs uh, in August and September so far. The on-bounce volume has pulled back, got a little bit overboard, pulled back a little bit. MACD is still good. And look at the uh, stochastic at 91%. That is excellent. That's the reason why I've been saying over and over and over, I don't want to go heavily, heavily, heavily short because there's internal strength and it's rotation. And isn't it amazing, as I said to subscribers the other day, I said, here we are, three strikes and you're out. Well, it's three strikes for the auto industry. You've got crude oil. Look at this. Crude oil is up near multi-year highs, or at least a year and a half highs. Look, 92.81, I, I don't like to print, I make this very light, because I don't like to print the price in on a continuous contract because it, it gets smoothed out. So all of a sudden that 92.81 is disappearing. But the week of the 11th of November of 2022, almost a year ago, that's where we were. Right now, we're at 91.18. I would say 91.18 is that almost... It's less than $2 away from where it was almost a year ago. And in the interim period, it's gone all the way down to 64. This low right here was 62.58, 62. And here we are at 90. That's a 27-something percent uh, gain. Now, look at the weekly, monthly chart. Monthly charts, hey, don't even think about it. You've got a long way to get to, get to a new uh, all-time high because that all-time high was back in... Uh, back in March of 2022 at 117. Remember, this is smooth. So the, right now I'm saying to 117, that nothing changes. The, the, the notation in the Chapman wave, the uh, pattern, nothing changes except the, the price gets smoothed out. But where, when was it last year? It was last year in 2014, the week of June the 30th, 2014. And before that was just a little higher at 120.83. And that was in August of 2013. And then you can go all the way back. But the most serious high was this Russia invades Georgia in August of 2008. And remember, we went through this really carefully as it was happening. I said, there's a big difference here because if this, um, if this war it was an incursion. Now it's a war. But if this incursion lasts more than 10 days, there's a change. But if it lasts more than a month, there's, that's a big, big difference. And that says it's going to last a lot longer. So that's crude oil, crude oil. Look at heating oil, HO, continuous contract. And the winter hasn't started. And here it is testing the triple high. Well, the quite, this will be the triple high that we're looking at right now at 3.36. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Conditions Hour, Dow's down 38. SP's unchanged. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So looking at the uh, crude, uh, the, looking at the heating oil continuous contract trading at uh, 3.37 with its peak D made on Friday, <clears throat> a little bit lower today. Look how quickly we went peak A, B, C, D, and now we're pulling back. Uh, the last one took quite a while and took the same thing. It had an instant restart. <clears throat> this is a fascinating one because it had three buy modes. A, B, from the low that was made back in, this is May, I think it was. Yep, May the, on four, May the 4th, it goes to 2.12, whoops, 2.03 at the low. Then it goes peak A, B, C, takes its time, gets to the D. And that's where the... Um, and then it, within one bar, it goes to an E, pulls back, holds the 14-period moving average, uses the 9-period moving average, which is still very strong, and it goes to peak A, B, C, D again with the Chapman Wave instant restart, goes to peak E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, G slash C. Watch it, because very often it goes to a D, but this D didn't pull back strong enough to give a sell signal because the nine held so beautifully, so it went to the E, and then it pulled back quite sharply with the technicals. In this case, I decided that it, it held two bars underneath the 14 moving average. That means there's a good chance that you can call that a, a, a sell signal, not a sell mode yet, but a sell signal. And then it goes peak ABC, got another D, a much smaller move to the upside than the other extensive uh, peak Ds. Uh, so the third time, this is where you can start to see a little bit of a digestive phase. And lo and behold, now I drew this in during the break. I normally wouldn't have done this so long. I'm, I'm always a little bit um, more, I'd say cautious. It, it looks like it's aggressive, but it really is cautious. Because what I would do is I'd be looking at this and I'd say, you know, that looks too long to get to back to that level. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. So I'm going to initially choose a particular candle. There's a methodology that I teach my subscribers. And I go to a particular candle and I say, you know, this looks closer to what I would be thinking of. So let me see if I can do that. And uh, here's, the, here's one of the lows. Uh, this is one of the highs. I can use the high, but I prefer to particular candle, an indecisive candle. And then I go green. And I just say, hey, where's this going to take me? Oops, I made that yellow. It should be green. Make that green. Remember the colors and stuff I'm using just to, for demonstration purposes because I, I could just use a single line, make it a single line, 
a solid and then a dashed line. I don't need all the colors. And then I would say, okay, so this is the this is the the line that I'm talking about, the inside wedge target resistance line, and I'm trying to make a join uh, right there at where this ends. So let's just do let's just see what happens. So I do that. This is kind of what I'd be doing. We didn't have heating oil at all. I'm just saying this is the analysis that I would do as I do with almost all the charts that I show my subscribers and positions we have, make this green. And it might or might not fit. Look, there's nothing even getting close. Now it's starting to get a little close. And lo and behold, what does it do? It goes right to that particular line right there, but it fails to make that high, and it pulls back for one bar, peak D, and then, look, nothing's technically bad. MACD's good. Stochastic's flat at 91% even now as we speak. And it goes to an E. So it's one, it's two bars late. Now, there was two bars late getting all the way back to November, the week of November the 4th. And it's already gone from uh, 3.45 down to $2 and something cents, 2.03. Isn't that, I mean, that's amazing, right? So this has met all the criteria. And this is the uh, what I would call a, a lopsided cup formation, like that, and to that level right there. Well, I would have put it to here, and it took a little longer. All right. So this is saying, now, this particular pattern here, look at the high that was made in heating oil way back in June of 2022 with 2.56 continuous contract, remember? So that's June 2.56. Look at this. This is November of 2022, um, and that is two, uh, 3.45. And look where we are right now, 3.50. <laughs> so I can now draw in a trend line. So let's just do that and see how that pans out. This is for heating oil. Heating oil, this is September. Uh, I mean, we've had some beautiful weather here in the Northeast. Not, I don't mean beautiful in the sense that it hasn't rained and all that, and we didn't have storms, but warm. It's been pretty warm. So this is what I'm looking at. Chapman Weave inside wedge, uh, sorry, inside track. Make that red, make that green. And it says heating oil could, in fact, um, bump into resistance for maybe a month. But then there's a chance... That if it takes, oh, yeah, yeah, let me just do this. This is live. So let's expand this right now. So this is the line that I'm looking at. Chapman Wave inside track. I usually try to make it as small as possible right there and right there. And lo and behold, oh, I think I should be doing something right now. Yeah, there. So this is it. So it says that heating was making rise higher highs and not higher lows, but this beautiful cup formation. So this is, I did a lot of work. You know, there's a cup and handle pattern. There's another pattern that I look at, just if you don't mind, I have to do this. In this let me just check this. I can move that away. Wow, that was, a, that was a pretty good rally up there. So we're almost running out of time to come back to this level. Remember, I like to say, you're looking at two fighting patterns. So this was like the cup formation right here in the one minute chart. Forgive me for, for breaking off here, but it's really what happens this first hour to nine, to 10.20, and then from 10.20 to about 12.20, then 12.20 to 2.30, then 2.30 to the close. Today, those are the segments I'm looking at. So this did get to the C and the D. Peak C, go, uh, a buy signal should go to a peak D. So it did go to the C. Yeah, it's your D and it's holding very nicely. So it didn't fail by um, 1030 to get down to the 48, 4488 level. Instead, it kept walking the nine period moving average. So it's, this is holding. When, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with this market. When you think about all the stuff that's going on, and yet it isn't just collapsing. I, I That's the reason why I, we, we are short, but I have respectful shorts, let's put it that way. And I wanted to add shorts, and I said, I I don't trust today. This is a day where overnight on Sunday night, we should have been down 45, 50 points in the S&P, and we weren't. And that's just saying maybe the administration is going to do something really quickly, 
and just say, okay, for I mean, when you get your election uh, closer to elections, this is the way bargaining power becomes your best bet. So I think the unions are going to get something pretty darn good. The way I'm looking at it, and where where can you remember three unions at once going for a strike, <laughs> three order unions to boot? So this is to me. This might resolve a little quicker. That means, of course, you've got to worry about three years out when inflation kind of kicks in, uh, when all of these different factors kick in. Um, that's something different altogether. Maybe there'll be something to alleviate there. Maybe crude oil be down because electric uh, is coming on. Who knows? Oh, so I, I lost my momentum there for crude oil, um, the hot crude oil. But I am saying that crude oil, if crude oil breaks into the four dollar area, this contract any two weeks. It holds for two weeks. I think that is going to go much higher. Here it is close to resistance. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So I've got Eli Lilly here, but before I get to Eli Lilly, I was going through Dow charts over the weekend. Look at this. This is WBA. This is Walgreen, Walgreen Boots. I can't believe what's going on here, which also remind me, as I'm looking at it, I had this chart, which I drawn ages ago, because we had George from New York, who uh, was interested in it a long time ago, and we did an, a, an analysis on it. 
Um, it had a couple of balances, but basically it's been making low lows. I, and George, actually, I didn't hear from George for a little while. I'm a little kind of concerned. So, George, I, I hope you're doing well. Um, so look at this. From 2008, where it made a low of 21.28. That's October of 2008. That's uh, 21.28. The low on March, the uh, March of 2009, was 21.39. Uh, that's I'd say that that's about uh, 11 cents higher. <laughs> and then it took off, and it ran all the way to this Chapman Wave two-bar reversal, 97.27, July of 2015, to. Uh, 97.30, three cents higher, uh, September of 2015, exactly uh, seven year, uh, eight years ago. <clears throat> and I should type that in 90, 92.00, uh, oops, 90, there we go. So that's 97.30 in August, 97.30. Eight twenty twenty fifteen. Okay, so it has a little bit of a tumble. It's now down at twenty one ninety six. You remember, remember the low that we were looking at here, twenty one twenty eight was it? Double bottom twenty one twenty eight. Next next month was twenty one fifty. So twenty one twenty eight. Back in October of two thousand and eight. Twenty one. 28, 10, 8. Oh, the monthly? Yeah, 20. Wow. That was 20.09. Gosh. So here it's back. Cut, uh, cut about 60% off its high. So my thinking has been companies like this, when you've got a CVS, I'm going to get to Lily because I just wanted to do this, this medical field. So CVS, whoops, type it into there. Here we go. CVS, which has a much better looking chart. Now I have this all notated. I lost all that. I'll, I'll do it again. I can do it. I don't want to waste time. So it made this beautiful cup formation. Fail right here. Now, this is absolutely the Chapman Way, a very long legged Chapman Way Roman candle high. I mean, wow. I mean, what more could you want in terms of analysis, right? So, here you go from this side. How these bar symmetries work is just there's a Chapman Wave two bar reversal right there at an all time high. And it goes right to this particular low right here. Click. Now we're going to go, look, look, let me just double check that it wasn't. So that's 111.65 and 111, 113, 13.65, 13.58. So it goes from there. That's a perfect Chapman Wave two bar reversal. I prefer when it's just a couple of cents off the left side high. Okay, so within that context, if I go to this low right here, the exact low, then we can do this and go left side, right side, price, time match, boom. Look at this. And it goes beyond. I probably would have wanted to use that candle right there. That would have been still long, but it doesn't matter. And then it failed to get to that level just by a tad. And then it turned down, made it the, the drop bucket or the cup and handle formation failure. And now it's down in the 70.80 uh, level. Uh, it actually was down at 63, was it, or 64? 64.62 uh, just a, a month ago. Okay, so I was thinking there's a chance that someone, a company like a CVS, could get if they were actually interested, if this was an area that they wanted to add to, they could go to the to Walgreens. I don't see anything anything at this particular point that's really going to help Walgreens to have anything but a bounce. And this is a takeover talk. So it's just interesting that uh, different chart patterns. And I showed this the other day. Didn't show this particular uh, sequence, but I showed how within the pharmaceuticals 
You could get an Eli Lilly doing fantastic, making all-time highs. You can get a Merck, not quite as good, but still really good. Not, I mean, it still made an all-time high just a couple of months ago. And then you can get other pharmaceuticals that were just not, they just couldn't get everything together. And I went through about three stocks in every sector. So now what I want you to say is this. I discussed Eli Lilly in terms of saying, this is, by any measure, this MACD, that's the, the biggest move it's had ever, right? By any measure. But the stochastic's flat at 94%. That's really good. The on balance volume has been overboard for a while. It doesn't care. The price is way above the nine. The nine period moving average is way above the 40. There is nothing other than a visual look at it that says, wow, parabolic, or not quite parabolic, but close to parabolic. That has to be, it's time for a, a, a big timeout. The stock doesn't know it. It's just doing what it needs to do because it's got a, a good bunch of fundamentals. But what I had said, and the question came in, where where would I start entering Lily if I if I love the stock, but I, I just it's what, what would I do? And what I had said is I'd wait a little bit because the daily has got a peak D that was on Friday. I'm anticipating a little bit more of a move. This is the area five fifty would be where I would start my initial uh, entry point. But I'd still be careful. I'd much be prefer that you used an option, a call option going into January or maybe December. Give it a lot of time because I think if this digest gains, which we've seen in a lot of stocks over the last year that have had spectacular moves, when they give back, they give back quite a chunk and they do it very, very quickly. So, I mean, just look at uh, Coca-Cola. Uh, look at the daily chart. I mean, oh, the weekly, look, double top, peak C, it makes the D just fractionally higher. And look what it is. It's underneath the cup. Uh, look at GIS. Also in the uh, XLP, in the uh, select, def this is a defensive area. General Cheerios, Annie's, um, and other foods. Look at that peak F in the week monthly. Look at that peak E in the, in the weekly. Look at this peak right here, peak G. In the daily, I mean, that is, and that's the thing I've been worried about. And that's what we found. That's the reason why I've been taking for subscribers. We've been taking money off on the big moves up, even this UEC. We took a lovely chunk off on, on Friday, uh, Tad, I should say. But it's getting so overbought that I've got to be a little careful. Well, the pullback so far today to 490 when it was trading at 555, I mean, that's an 11% decline. Now it's already come back. Uh, now I'm just down 10 cents. But you've got to have money management in this environment. I'll be back and we'll discuss Lily in a little bit more detail. And then I want to continue looking at all the other areas. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insight, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So uh, this is really fascinating. I, I'm busy doing this thinking that the question was, uh, where do I enter long? I think there was a question last week for some, but actually, I just got a note saying, "Oh, this is the one that lost the the notation." Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I going to do now? All right, I'll just do this and type it in. Let's see what happens. Peak A. There, it's gone. Peak B. I'll do this. You can see it. I'll have to do find out what's going on with this particular C1. Peak C2. Right there. Then it goes peak A, B, C, D, and there's your E. Just like you got the G slash C goes, uh, it usually goes to a D, and then you've got to be careful. This went to the D and then quickly went to the E. Now it's coming down. So this is what I'd be looking at. Just about everything I said before, as if you were long thinking where you would like to nibble, I'm going to say on the short side at this Shorting right at the top, which I did, congratulations, I think this is just pretty much what you did, is what gives you a little bit of a cushion. So you see this little gap here at about 560, and the low today has been 564.41. I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it as conservative as possible. I go from this low, not the very low. I'm going to go from this low to this particular candle right here. I like cup formation lows. As, as a, a visual that I've, I can benchmark. And then I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to say, ah, should I move it to the right? I'll do that. Number of bars to the right. Let's just take it here. Uh, format, uh, space to the right. It's an 8. I'm going to make it 15. And now what we've got, and this is what I'd be looking at. Buy. One th uh, by three thirty on the twenty first of this week. I, I, I probably say it's even quicker than that. I'm just being a little conservative here. There's a chance that Eli Lilly will. I'll go to this one here. Will hit that level. Uh, of this particular low right here. Okay, 5.52. Whoa, that's a long way to go. Um, so I, I would, normally I'd, I'd go to this level here because this is your uh, Chapman Wave inside track. No, this is, your, this is the Chapman Wave inside wedge support line right there. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Here's your arch formation. Don't be, don't be surprised. It's such a strong stock that it bounces to 580. If it goes to 583, you've got to be a little bit careful. But this is kind of what I'm looking at right now. That over the next couple of days, it starts to make low lows and lower highs. It's just at a point where it's going to try to do something because that was really quick after such a fabulous move to the upside. But I would treat this as a short-term trade. 
Uh, you might be surprised, and it actually does everything you want. But when it's this strong, buyers are very reluctant to give up. It would have to be trading under 540, probably under 542, 540, that area, for people to say, oh, man, I got to, I, this is not working for me. Okay, but I think you absolutely for the entry that you've got, if you did get it earlier than this, like Friday sometime, that's great. You've got a little bit of a cushion. The next thing we want to look at here is let's go through this. Look, high grade copper. High grade copper is just in a trading range. Lowercase h goes to a lowercase. There we go. Uh, I can still treat this just as one big arch formation in this particular point. Got repelled under the 200 period moving average. Uh, Question came in, where did it go? XLE. Can you look at your XLE? Yep, XLE. <clears throat> this is almost like Eli Lilly in that it had a fantastic move to the upside. This, I keep, I keep talking about this, and, and I keep getting surprised when people uh, look at this and they say, well, can you look back? And I look back and I say, wait a minute. The XLE Select S&P Energy Spider Fund made a high of 94.71 the week of the 18th of November. So there it is. So this is uh, 94.71. I should type that in because I'm liable to forget it. And what was the high just the other day, 94.71? And what did it do? It ran to a high three days ago, last Thursday, of 93.69. 93 Amazing, huh? This is almost a year later, 93.69. So within that context, now a lot of people are here, look at this and they say, it's gone nowhere. I can never do that. I don't mean, what, what do you mean go nowhere? It dropped by about a third. It went down to the 75 area. It ran up to 87. That's a good, good percentage move. Comes back, makes the lowercase h successful left side. Does not test it, holds it successfully. That becomes an arch formation. And that's usually a very powerful move if it closes above the, the, the dreaded H arch. And look, there it is. Now it's going to the chamber wave inside track resistance line. Look, here's another one. This is a bigger, much bigger move. But I'm, I'm going to exclude that for now because normally when it's achieved all the things that we want, I just get rid of it. So I'm going to take this away because it doesn't, for it to apply, it just, it's broken too many rules. But this does apply, uh, this move right here, where it's gone from this low, from that low to the right side. So now let me do a left side, right side price time match. Look, there it is. 94.71 goes to uh, that bar right there. I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, there. So we're going to go to this this long-legged doji, this un indecisive candle. I'll go new. I'll go green. And that just says even energy is getting up to a level that says now it's going to be bumping into resistance. And it right, this is exactly where it's bumping into resistance. There's the falling axe formation. There's the breakout. And it's moving to the upside. This is the more conservative one. I actually lifted this up once. That was the more conservative one. And now it's done the one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. I've got a little ping that I could hear. And I'm going to go, Garo in Newport Beach. Garo, how are you? I'm very good, sir. How about you? I'm very good. What can we look at today? Uh, looking at Moderna, MRNA. Yes. Uh, um, I'm short. Uh, I shorted today um, when it dropped below the 50 day moving average on 15 minutes. Uh, but by looking at the daily chart, if you go back for two years on a daily chart, Yes. Uh, you'll, see that, you'll see that the 200 EMA uh, is below the 200 SMA. So whenever the 200 EMA goes below 200 SMA, that is a bad news. So something is going to happen or that uh, that uh, situation is going to uh, continue that short. Uh, it, it, what, what do you think, sir? Uh, it, it, this is going to uh, go lower uh, after that uh, uh, moving, after that it uh, 
it went below the 200 days or uh, it's going to go way below than around 66, 65 dollars. So I, I'm using something a little different and I'll explain it as soon as we return. We've got Gower, Newport Beach, California. We're looking at Myrna. That's Moderna Biotech. And it's getting uh, hammered today. It's down eight and a half, down 7%. And 106, we'll talk about it as soon as I return. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. NN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back, and we're back with Garo in Newport Beach. So, so Garo, what I'm looking at here, let me go step by step, because I, I haven't put the 200 under, the, I've got my 200 period exponential moving average, uh, in the daily and the weekly, it's way below the 135 level of the. Uh, so it's just meaningless right now in the daily, as far as I'm concerned. You using them as a crossover, I'm not. But what I am going to say to you that, that in this particular pattern, if Moderna closes, it, it might just hit it, but I'm really talking about a close. If it closes under the candle of the 21st of August, which the low was 101.82, if it closes under that, I think it's going to be a fairly quick ride down to the 90 uh, to test the 95.02 low that was made on the 16th. And I would just yep. go step by step. The fact that it's walking underneath, I don't know if you can see my chart, but if you look at this weekly chart, look at the way it cannot, it has not closed above the 14 period, uh, uh, above the, yep, the black 14 period moving average closed, I mean, 
since the week of the 27th of January of this year, where it was at 198. So this just says, uses one indicator and it says, it's still the pink is underneath the 14 period moving average in the weekly. But I know you don't always use things a longer term like this, but I would say to you, it's in the H pattern right now. For it to change, it would probably have to close uh, by Wednesday above 110. And I think that's going to be very difficult right now. So I think you're in right. the right position. Congratulations. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. Uh, good. So uh, thank you so much for calling. I wrote I everything down, all the numbers down. And I, okay. I go by the... Yeah, I do. appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank sir. you, Have a nice day. Bye -bye. Folks, we've got Steve Rose. He's back. We're looking forward to his show. And I just wanted to say that if the Dow closes, <clears throat> Dow, let me just do this real quickly. If the Dow after 3 o'clock is up 30 or 40 points, that's kind of good. If it's down more than 50, that says just be real careful. But right now, it's in the